for you. Good morning. I'm trying to do a day in my life as a just kind of like retail employee, especially now that we're out of the quarantine pandemic portion because I didn't work during that. I have an eight to five. It's currently 7.03. I can leave a little bit later than I used to because there's still not that many people on the road. But I didn't show you everything this morning because I'm usually the first one up on these mornings. I don't want to be too loud but I just wake up and get dressed and then I showed you guys my lunch that I made and my coffee and my cute little color changing cup wow and then yeah I drive to work and then I work eight to five today which is exciting because they, they switched my shift because I have class at 5 45 so I almost forgot about that yes I'll take you along probably to see you when I get to work or at lunch because I eat my lunch in my car. There's always six people around the break room. But yeah, good morning. All right, got here. Perfect timing for me. I usually am here super early. I overestimate the time I need to leave a lot because I'm afraid to be late. College basketball, high school basketball in general, Basketball in general, I guess you could say, it made me very prompt. Like, I'll get here 15, 30 minutes early, you know, freaking out, I'm gonna be late. But I'm here at perfect timing because my shift starts at 8, and it's our opening shift right now, so everyone's getting here at the same time, so it's like good. Yeah, because the other day I got here at 7 30, and I had to wait almost 20 minutes for people to show up. And so I, I try not to do that, but I'd rather be early because it gives me anxiety when I'm running late. Really bad. Yeah. I'll see you guys at lunch. Okay, so I'm finally on my lunch. I don't mind having a late lunch sometimes because then when you come back, you have less time until you get to go. And so it's like this nice little mind thing I have going on. But yeah, I eat in my car partially because my feet are killing me and I need to take my shoes off because I haven't worked nine hours in a long time. But Besides that, I showed a little clip this morning and I packed a salad with chicken and avocado because that's the best part and an apple and strawberries. So I'm gonna eat that, probably listen to a podcast. This is kind of like my time to recharge because I'm introverted. I like having this like lunch hour to myself. But yeah, I will check back in after work because we're getting gas because I'm running low. <laughs> All right, we are on our way to get gas. I got a little distracted walking out to my car and forgot to film, but we are on our way. I'm currently at the stoplight to get gas, and then it is raining towards home, so I am trying to get gas before the rain gets me. Because it's rainy season down here, it's hurricane season, and we're just trying to get home before I have to deal with too much of that. And I have class soon. I have class in 30 minutes, so I have to listen to some of it in the car. But that's what we're doing, getting gas. Also, if you guys don't have the app Get Upside, it is great. It doesn't work at every gas station, but you can look up like certain gas stations, like this is my favorite gas station next to work, and you just upload a picture of your receipt and you'll get the like, cash back. It tells you like how many cents back you get for each gallon with this one. So like this one, it is um, $1.99 for just regular, and I get 20 cents back for each gallon. And so all I have to do is you make sure you click it before you like insert your card and do all of that and then you pump your gas and then you upload your receipt and then you accumulate money in the top of it and you just like cash it out whenever you want for like a take of gas or you can get 
you can get like a check or like even gift cards if you want. So if you don't have that, you should have that because 20 cents a gallon is going to save me a pretty penny. That's a good amount. That. I never have paid that little for like a full tank of gas. Okay guys, I forgot to show you guys like dinner and stuff and usually we go after dinner on a walk but my feet are absolutely killing me today so I took a pass on that and I've just been hanging out, relaxing, chilling. We're gonna show you guys the shoes I got when I was talking about being afraid to break them in but I have a short shift tomorrow so I'm gonna break the turquoise one then. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the shoes. I guess I'll show you guys this also. I got a new face brush for my skincare because I don't think my skin gets enough. But look at these. I wanna wear these tomorrow. Um, they are Epic Reacts. They're the Phantom 2s. Yes, and I am a big fan. Ooh, the white ones are just so nice. Big fan, big fan. I'm a Big fan of Epic Reacts. Seven pairs. Plus my two new ones. So that's nine pairs. It's a good day. And I don't buy shoes nearly as often as I do anymore. I know it seems like a lot of shoes, but I do work there and I get a discount and I don't buy them like I used to. I used to just buy them because they were cheap. But now I buy like the ones that I like and in specific, I will get like a pair of Vapor Maxes or like Air Maxes for like a good price because that's stuff I don't wear very often. If I can get a pair of Vapor Maxes for $60 instead of the like 200 that they are, I get those. But yeah, probably won't vlog in the morning because it's not going to be anything too interesting. I usually don't eat like breakfast. I usually eat around noon. I'll, I don't work till two, so I'll probably eat like a brunch type thing, get Starbucks and go to work. Maybe I'll show you, maybe I won't. Yeah, I just wanna thank you guys for watching. My last video did really good and that was really exciting for me. And I just appreciate anybody that has supported me, especially all my Nike fam that has been watching. I appreciate you guys. And I will see you in the next one.